Okay, folks, so this is going to be for the remote students using Pixlr. Um, because Pixlr doesn't have specific doesn't have specific values for inches that we can put in, I'm going to do this using uh, pixels. So the resolution, I believe, is 300, so I'm going to use that as my base. So basically what that means is all my inch numbers are going to get converted into pixels by multiplying by 300. So for the width that we had measured, it was 10.56 times 300, 3168, whoops. So 3168, and then for the height, uh, we have 7.125, but we gotta multiply that, so 7.125 times 300 is 2137.5. 2137.5, okay. So that's gonna give us, and then you scroll down, you can hit create, I'll put these numbers in the description of the assignment so you don't have to uh, unless I catch it in the video. So that's the approximate ratio that we need. Whoops. This is the ratio we need. I'm accidentally doing text. Um, and that's going to give us the spaces to do the layout. Now I'm going to put in some things that are just meant to be as an example. So don't follow this exactly, such as a shape. Somewhere in the middle, in reality it's about half an inch, um, there is a spine. Obviously, you have no rulers, so you don't really know how that is or where that is necessarily. Um, if you really want to do some math, you could do some math here to figure out the position, uh, but I'm going to leave it open to the folks who are at home. Uh, now, real quickly, also, you know, a new text layer. So the back is on that side, and the front is on that side. So when you open up any case, it's got like a normal, like a disc or a video game. When you open it up, the back is on the left, the front is on the right. So when you do your layout, you wanna keep that in mind. Uh, I'm just doing something so that people can see what I'm doing. Because the text is really hard to see. Mm -hmm. Sorry. working quick, just trying to get something so that it's visible. There we go, okay. So you're gonna create a game case or a movie case, approximate layout of front, spine, back. Um, you'll use a bunch of layers. Now one thing to note, when you have a lot of layers, if you click on one, hold control, and click on others, you can click on them in any order and you can select them all. And then what you can do, if you uh, right click on them, you can do things like duplicate, you can merge them, which is gonna permanently put them together. Uh, one thing which I would like to see if I can do. Uh, see a layer. Um, it's not going to let me do this on Pixlr. Uh, I was hoping we could group layers, but that doesn't seem to be something that it can do. But if you do have a bunch of things and you're permanently, permanently done with them, uh, you can either merge down, which will take the two layers, that the this layer and the layer below it and make it one layer. You can merge all the ones that are visible, which if they have the check mark next to it, or you can flatten the image, which is going to merge everything. So if you do flatten the image, all the layers become one image. There's a lock, which you can double click to unlock it. But now this whole thing, is one layer. Unfortunately, it won't let you get rid of that in a later step. Oops, sorry, someone just came in. Um, yeah, have a good day. Let me know if you have any questions on this. I'll try to type out directions as well, but I wanted you to see where I was clicking to make that happen. All right, thank you very much. Let me know if you have questions.